So the lovely Sherry Langston Hi. is our director of adventure today. Awesome. Yeah. What are we going to see? Oh, okay. So today we have a lot of things going on. We're going to learn all about the different marine animals that we have here that are native to San Diego. We're going to go in and look at some sea jellies. I'll let you touch one, believe what? it or not. Yep. Yes. Let you touch a jelly and then we'll look at some um, ocean invertebrates that you're going to find in our tide pools here in San Diego. And I'd like to go ahead and take you guys back and have you jump into our ray tank. And I can show, do this. Show some people the stingray shuffle because summer is coming and we really don't want people to get stung by these stingrays. We have these uh, mini rovers, these ROVs. That in are the shark tank. Dive in the shark tank um, to kind of show how some science education is going to be applicable to these students in the future. Let's go do it. Yay, let's go. I told you it's a little chilly, oh but you're goodness. tall enough. It's not going to, it's not going to, you'll be fine. Up to my knees. You'll be fine. So this is the stingray shuffle. Mm -hmm. And why are we doing this? So we, the stingrays don't actually want to sting people. It's actually their last um, method of defense. Typically, they're going to want to get away from the situation. So really, when people are going into the oceans, they're wanting to shuffle their feet mm -hmm. to let them know that we're coming near. Okay. Um, it, it disturbs okay. the sand. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of it disturbing, I'm feeling this <laughs> You're feeling stingray them. bumping up against yeah. me here. Uh, but it disturbs the sand that's around them, and they will typically just move and get out of your way. And I'm seeing big string yeah. stingrays that are dark, and then some are lighter. Yep. So, we, so have we, we have quite a few in here. This is what we would typically see over um, off our shores in, Cali in Southern California. So mm -hmm. we have um, round stingrays, and then we have the um, bat rays, which are these big guys right here. Those over there. Right. And then these are actually guitar fish. These guys don't have stingers, but you would see them commonly throughout here. Okay. Got a flapper. What they're doing is actually searching for food. Um, right. That's typically what they'll do in their natural habitats is they will um, flap their wings up against a surface and that'll um, scare out some of the invertebrates that they want to eat. So do you want to practice the shuffle with me? Yes, yeah, so let's do the shuffle. So what we're going to do, and again, this is to protect the stingrays as well as to protect people. Um, in the summertime, the stingrays are going to be um, in shallower, warmer waters. That's just where they'd like to hang out. Everybody likes to hang out at the beach, right? Yes, of course. Um, and so what we're going to do is when we walk in the water, you shuffle your feet Every like this. Every day I'm shuffling. Why are, are these sharks important to, to our environment here? Absolutely. So all of the animals that you see here in our Shark and Ray experience are native to San Diego that you'd find right here in this, off the of Southern California coastlines. Um, these animals are unbelievably important to our ecology and our environment because they really keep our beaches and our oceans clean, believe it or not. How so? These guys are bottom feeders. Um, they prefer to eat the dead, the dying, and the decaying. So they're taking out of the ocean animals that probably shouldn't be there any longer, or they're kind of like the, the trash man. They're cleaning up things for us. So that way we have these beautiful, beautiful, white, clean, sandy beaches here in San Diego. And we also have uh, some kids here yeah. working with these uh, remote... Yeah, so these are um, sea perches or remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, that students um, here with the San Diego Science Alliance and the Sea Perch program build. They learn how to build these um, ROVs together, and then they get to dive them in a habitat that, you know, do some real-world applications and see how this science and technology can be applied out in the real world when they get a little bit older. And this really reflects what's coming out in Common Core and the next generation science standards as well. This is the approach that we're being told as educators to uh, adopt, and it works for kids. Hands on. Hands on. So what's better, uh, playing a video game or coming to the Living Coast? Coming to the Living Coast. So Sherry, these are moon jellies? Yeah. These are other... Uh... Yeah, these are other animals that you'd find right here off our, off our shore, coast huh? in San Diego, our wild San Diego. Wow, they're like a little uh, balloon. Aren't they interesting? Yeah, so these um, actually, everybody thinks of jellyfish as like, oh my gosh, they're going to sting. Um, moon jellies actually, they do sting, but our, we don't feel it through our skin. Hmm. So it's, it's safe to touch these. I would not recommend that people go and touch them on the beach, but we do have them up here um, in, at the Living Coast Discovery Center to kind of give people a little bit more of a hands-on interactive um, encounter.